Farmer Charlotte is on a trip just down the road to her very own family farm, where she's keen to introduce us to some of her own beautiful new springtime arrivals. Hi guys, it's Farmer Charlotte here from Cannonall Farm. Um, we've come on a little bit of a road trip today. We've come to my farm, which is look just down the road from Cannon Hall. Um, and we're going to have a little look at a couple of my animals. Uh, I've been very lucky to always grow up around animals. Um, we've always had a variety of animals here on the farm. Um, we're just currently coming out of milking dairy cows. We just dispersed our dairy herd. But we've always had beef cows on site as well, as well as some of our sheep. Um, we're very lucky now to run a pedigree flock of rylands and coloured rylands. So growing up on a farm, um, it does obviously give you lots of transferable skills. So then going into work at Cannonall Farm, um, it made it a little bit easier because I already kind of had a bit more of an idea, um, definitely around the sheep and the cows we've got up there, of kind of how to work around them and some of the general tasks that you do with them. Before I worked at Cannonall Farm, I did have a few other jobs previous to that. So most of them were lambing jobs, but the most interesting one I did um, was a job clipping dairy cows, either for housing inside in the winter or for sales and sometimes even shows. Um, so it's basically just like giving them a haircut, making them look a little bit smarter, a little bit cleaner. Springtime is definitely one of my favourite times here on the farm. Um, it's when all of my lambs are being born. So just a few days ago, we did have a pedigree Ryland ram lamb born here um, and I'd like to take you all in to meet him. So this is the little fella that was born the other night. Um, he's really, really special because he comes from quite a few generations of homebred sheep. Um, so we started breeding the Rylands in 2014. Um, I started showing them in 2015. So we like to think we're doing okay at it. Um, so his mum is just down there. She's the lovely little apricot. So this little fella is a lovely example of a pedigree Ryland. He's got the lovely dark ears pointing nicely at the sort of 10 to 2 angle. Um, he's got a lovely little face as well. He's very, very pretty. Um, my favourite sheep is out in the field at the minute. So she's one that we've had a lot of success with showing called Yorkshire Dragon. Um, and she's got a beautiful little tup lamb with her this year as well. So hopefully the future will be bright for these little guys. We've been really, really lucky with the sheep. We've had a lot of success in the show ring. Um, last year I had a shearling ram out of my favourite sheep, Yorkshire Dragon, who was first place in the shearling ram class at the Yorkshire show. And he went on to be the reserve male champion and he then did the same at the National Ryland sale as well. So we've done really, really well recently with them. I think mum may want a lamb back. Um, she's a first time mum and she's been absolutely excellent with him. So I'm gonna bob him back with her. So I do absolutely adore my Ryland sheep. They are incredibly lovely as you've seen, but I do have another two favorite animals here. Um, I got them from Cannonall Farm last year. And um, then my two little pet pygmy goats, Spud and Smokey. So they're always excited to see me. So we'll go and have a look at them. Hello. Hello. So these little guys are my two little pet pygmy goats. This is Spud and the other one, the more gray one is Smokey. Um, as you can see, they love nibbling things, um, but also very excitingly, it's their birthday today. Um, so they both just turned one. Um, so they are nearly fully grown now. They're hopefully not going to grow too much bigger because they are very, very cute at this size um, and still little bundles of energy. So for those of you that have followed us for a little while, you'll know these two did come from Cannon Hall. Um, they were two little uh, pet pygmy goats that we were bottle feeding. Um, I think they were triplets and the mums didn't have enough milk for them. So we bottle fed them and I just couldn't help but fall in love with them. Um, they were so, so tiny, so, so very cute, still are. Um, so yeah, I just, I just had to bring them home. It took a little bit of convincing with mum. Um, she wasn't too sure on the idea of goats, but now we've had them nearly a year, um, I think she's fairly uh, chuffed with them. They're a little bit different to the sheep. Um, if there's a way out, they're out. Um, when I first got Spud home, he did escape within the first five, 10 minutes. Um, he also has escaped from this little stable as well. Um, he used to have a big blue plastic tub and he used to push it to the hurdle there and uh, he'd climb over and jump over the hurdle and get out and go and eat the sheep's food. Um, so a little bit more mischievous than the sheep, um, but still very lovely. Because it's the birthday, I think I'm gonna give them a little bit of a birthday treat. I'm gonna get some of the favorite fruits and veggies. So they absolutely love apples, bananas, carrots, everything like that. And I'm gonna bob that in with a normal tea tonight, I think for them as a little treat. 
Right guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed meeting a few more of my animals and catching up with Smoke It and Spud. Um, you can find out more about the rest of our farmers in the new book, Springtime at Cannonall Farm, which is out at the end of March.